but the entire coastal bend community has been preparing for the storm. Our Chelsea Torres joins us now from the island where sea levels are already rising. And Chelsea, what else have you seen while you've been there this morning? I know you talked earlier during an update about the storm surge and uh, all the debris that you're you're seeing there on the road. Yeah, Paulo, you know, things have actually been moving pretty quickly since we've been over here at the end of Whitecap Boulevard and the beach. And I'll move out of the way so you can see exactly what's going on. So the city's Park and Recreation Department just got out here maybe about 30 minutes ago, and they started moving the barricades, which are way over where you see that front loader at, at the very beginning. But then the tide just continues to keep moving forward. So about 10 minutes ago, they moved the barricades a little further, realized that's not going to do it. They need to keep moving them back. So they actually already told us to move move um, because they're moving these barricades as you can see right now this far up from the beach that tide is coming up really high now if you're coming out onto the island just know that the stripes over on Whitecap and Park Road 22 they've already boarded that one up um, a little bit earlier ago it was also raining and it's been pretty windy the rain has kind of been off and on, but what we've noticed is that when there's a strong gust of wind, a strong gust of rain, then the tide really starts to come up and you can even see the tide coming up right here, um, right behind that front loader. So this is kind of what we've been noticing for the past couple hours that we've been out here. A quick gusts of wind, some rain, and then the tide just continuously moving up. And again, like I said, this is the city's park and recreation department that has come out here within the past 30 minutes. They have their front loader and they are moving barricades. Now, again, they've already told us to move out of the way, so I'm going to go and keep this pretty quick and short, but we're going to keep watching this and we're still going to be out here again. This is over off of Whitecap Boulevard at the end of the beach over here on the island. We'll keep you guys updated this morning. Paulo. All right. Chelsea Torres reporting live from Whitecap Boulevard, and we'll have check in with her throughout the show and throughout the morning.